not expecting this movie to be awesome. Considering it's M. Night Shyamalan. I have not seen an M. Night Shyamalan movie since The Happening. And that was so bad it was good because you make fun of it all the time. After that, I didn't even watch his other shit like After Earth and Avatar, which I'm not a fan of. I've never seen the show. Sue me. I haven't seen his last movie where kids are visiting their ground and some bullshit's going in on. I forgot what the hell that movie was called. The Visit is what it's called. I I didn't want to see it because it has M. M Night's name on there. And then came Split. You were very crafty, motherfucker. You're very crafty. Came out on the feeders as a trailer. And I'm wondering, ooh, this looks amazing. I want, I want to see this. And all of a sudden you see his name directed by M. Night Shyamalan. I go like, fuck! This is gonna suck! Ain't it? Because if it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, it's gonna suck because his movies have not done well at all. The only movies I liked from him were Sixth Sense. Uh, and a little bit of Signs, even though it's completely retarded. If I watch it back again, Unbreakable I didn't like, which I'll get to it later on. But yeah, this movie though, I still wanted to see it just because of the premise of it. Like, James McAvoy having like 23 personalities. Damn. Okay, M. Night, you got me. I didn't go see it the first day it came out because of reasons, but I finally went to see it. Obviously, I'm making a review of it right now, but fuck me, this movie was good. Holy shit, James McAvoy, guys. How he went into different characters in a split second. See what I did there? Split. Ah, I'll shut up now. Holy shit, from going from Dennis to Hedwig to Kevin and a bunch of other people all in the span of like seconds, like in the end where he just goes all beast mode. Holy fuck, he was climbing the walls. What the fuck? But yeah, in the movie earlier, the, that psychiatrist said, like, when you develop personalities, some people uh, change with that shit, so their body develops and stuff, so he became a beast, so he's not human, so he's climbing up walls and shit, being a fucking spider, smashing out lights at the end, fuck me, oh my god, eating people. And then he just quickly changes into a different character, like Kedwig and all that stuff. The Mr. Dennis character is like obsessive compulsive disorder. He's the most smoothest layer there, but fuck. Patricia, you didn't see much, but she's like the mother type, but she still has an agenda. Hedwig, nine year old, was like the best one there, but when you first see him, it's like fuck. But then you find out he's nine years old, so you, you kind of root for him. And I love how he goes like, can I kiss you? And you gotta remember, he's nine years old. Then he like, goes to the side of her, doesn't even kiss her once. Goes back and goes like, I think you're pregnant now, that was hilarious. The audience just laughed, but Hedwig like, yeah, what can you say, he's nine years old. He's the innocent one of the group. Uh, and then there's Kevin, who was this, last time he was there was 2014, so three years he's been gone. Because he, he said he was on a bus and he blacked out. That's the only thing he can remember. So he's he's been totally gone for three years. Doesn't know what the hell's going on. And the fact that he's been living under a zoo the entire time. I seriously thought that was this. The uh, well, the ending to it. Because like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, fuck. They're going the village on me now. And I didn't learn a thing. Fuck you, M. Knight. You're doing the village all over again. But no, it didn't end there. Kept on going. And the ending, though, when Bruce Willis showed up from Unbreakable, it's like, I did not understand the ending. I had to look it up before I made this review because I seriously thought for a second that James McAvoy turned into Bruce Willis at the end. But they said in a diner, it's like, who was that guy 15 years ago that was in a wheelchair that almost did the exact same thing? So no, that's how stupid I am because I didn't put two and two together. 
like I said, I had to look it up. So basically, it's an Unbreakable 2, which is pretty cool. Was not expecting that. Goddamn, what a twist. M. Night, you got it right. I still got to watch your Visit movie, whatever that other movie was beforehand. Yeah. But the other movies before that shit, I'm not going to watch, especially that elevator fucking movie. What's it called? Devil? No, fuck that shit. Uh, but yeah, to tie into the same universe, like, Unbreakable was this. And Kevin, whoever he was at the end, like Dennis or something, he did say he will protect us. So I'm guessing it's Bruce Willis' character from Unbreakable. They're going to team up together or they're going to fight each other or some shit. Since Bruce Willis' character is a superhero and he can't die. I don't know. It's been so. It's been a while since I've seen Unbreakable. I, I did not like Unbreakable because of the twist ending. Because like he was a superhero all his fucking time. Wow. So it's a setup on Unbreakable 3, or whatever. Who knows? But damn, that was a good ending. But still, James McAvoy, holy shit. Oh, I can't say enough about him. God, wow. Huh. Seriously, James McAvoy, what can you say about him in this movie? He is so awesome. And M. Night doing his regular cameo. And the audience was laughing as soon as he showed up on screens like, Hey, it's M. Night. <laughs> so with that, I'll say it's worthy to watch. It's good. Man, I've never thought I'd ever see the day where I would say like, Go watch an M. Night movie. It's actually good. What a twist. I think that's the actual twist where M. Night just showed that he can still do it back in the day from Sixth Sense and not rely on the stupidity of what he does in the other movies. <sighs> but anyways, that's it for now. Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye!